Welcome to another As the Crow Flies adventure. This video is going to be one of a series of videos I'm going to call the Master Hiker Quest. To get the Master Hiker insignia, you have to hike 34 trails around 14 parks in the great parks of Hamilton County. And you have to do it within one calendar year, and then you get this Master Hiker insignia. I'm not sure what that entails exactly or what the insignia is. But um, I figured I would give it a try. I'm a novice hiker. I'm really kind of new to this whole hiking thing. But I love being outdoors. And this just seemed like a cool challenge. Challenge myself. You know, just to see if I can do it. See if I can hike all 34 of these trails. And I wanted to document my journey. So the first trail we're going to hike here is the Little Turtle Trail and Shawnee Lookout. Shawnee Lookout has three trails. The Little Turtle is probably the longest one. Uh, it's two miles in length. You get a nice little overlook of the Ohio River about three quarters of the way through. It's a loop trail. It's a beautiful day out. 75 degrees on a February. Can't beat that. This is what I like to call false spring. You get these nice days here and there, but they're fleeting because right behind them is usually a cold front. You have this hope that spring is right around the corner and then bam, winter hits you in the face snow two days later that's kind of how the weather goes around here in Cincinnati and the Midwest in general I actually discovered this hiking program last year late last year so obviously I, there was enough time in the year to complete all 34 trails but if you hike seven of the trails, you get a hiking staff, which I was able to complete. And now I have this hiking staff. I gotta say, it's nice that they uh, give you a hiking staff, but let's be honest. This is a glorified broomstick right here. I don't really use it. I just brought it to show you guys. And I got a couple of these plates to put on here for a couple of the parks that I frequent, Miami Whitewater, Fernbank Park, and right there you got Shawnee Lookout. Three of my favorite parks in the great parks of Hamilton County. I've developed this knack for always finding the worst possible weather for audio. This is like my third video of 2023 and this is the third video where the wind is crazy. So apologies if it's windy. Good weather is hard to come by around January, February so I'll have to take what I can get. All right, we have made it to the fork in the road. We are gonna go to the right, because that's what the marker says. I believe this just loops around and then comes back out right here. So we'll be taking the same way back that we just came in. One neat thing about all these great parks trails, they all have Similar signage uh, with just little tidbits that you can read along the way, educating you on the surrounding area. This one in particular, Who Dines on Vines? The hairy looking vine climbing the tree to your left is poison ivy, so do not touch. 
The scaly looking vine is wild grape. Both vines provide food and cover for birds and other wildlife. So I believe this is the poison ivy vine. And then you have these pretty scary looking vines, really thorny. I had to stop and take a little breather at this bench, get a little drink of water. <clears throat> Man, kind of parched. Yeah, from this bench area, you can get a nice little view across the river. There's a little gap in the trees here. You can see it looks like a farmhouse off in the distance. Okay, we're making our way up to the lookout on the little turtle trail. This is pretty much the main lookout where you get the best view. You can see how fast the river current's moving. We had quite a bit of rain yesterday. Great Park says, we need you out here. I'm sure they'll be seeing a lot more of me. One of the really neat things about Shawnee Lookout is the fact that it was inhabited by Native Americans. The Shawnee, Adena, and Hopewell people lived up on these bluffs overlooking the Ohio River. So it's a big archaeological site. They found everything from arrowheads to other pottery. And right here you see Site 39 Burial Mound. So the dead are still buried up on these hills. Please show respect by not walking on the mound. The Little Turtle Trail gets its name from an Indian chief named Little Turtle, who was chief of the Miami people. He was not from around this area where we're at now. He was further west, I believe in Illinois, in Indiana, decorated war chief, one of the more famous war heroes of the Native Americans. Died in 1812, I believe. Coming across moss, it really stands out here in the winter time since everything else around it is dead and brown. And you have these little pops of green here and there. It's a nice contrast. And here's some interesting looking fungi that has taken over these dead trees right here. Look at all that. Alright, looks like we made it around the loop. We are pretty much back where we started. Came from that direction. Ended up here. And we're going to follow it out to the exit. Alright, well that is it for the Little Turtle Trail. Nice little two mile-ish hike. Thank you for joining me on hike one of 34 in my quest to become a master hiker. And I will see you in the next video. 
wait a minute. I think I'm forgetting something. Today's post hike beverage is brought to you by Moss Bridge Beverage Company. It's a cool little tap room here in an old farmhouse. Today's beer is from Esoteric Odyssey. It's an IPA. You'll see a trend. I tend to always go for the IPAs, those are my favorite. The hoppier, the more IBUs the better. <laughs> this is actually a cool building. They got a little farmer's market over here where you can buy stuff. It's a really cool place. They have an outside seating area too. And there's a food truck out there. We'll check that out here in a minute. Get to cross one off the list. Long way to go. Never had the Esoteric Odyssey before, but I have to say it's a pretty good beer. I'm enjoying this one. Here's the food truck. It's Chloe's Eatery. I hear they have really good food. I'll have to try some next time I'm here. And look out here, they got all this property on this farmland. See you guys in the next one.